All right, well, since I got this Camaro from auction, um, I don't trust that the oil was changed regularly. You, you, can, you can't assume all that stuff. It does say there's 72% oil life left on it. I just disregard that. I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil because I don't know when it was changed last. But uh, I'm not gonna do a video on changing the oil. There's already too many videos like that on the internet. Um, I did clean the engine bay a little bit, which, you know, there's videos on that too. I'm gonna paint the brake calipers on this because uh, I think it'll set it off a little better. We're eventually gonna plastic dip the wheels black. We were gonna powder coat them, but the wheels are really nice. In really good condition. But you can see them brake calipers are just, just dead looking. And, it, and I got um, actual, look at that. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I have it. I got actual uh, duple color brake caliper paint. It's supposed to be ceramic, so it was withstands heat a lot better. We did get to clean it up yesterday. It looks really good. Uh, and clean the inside, outside. Um, I just cleaned the engine cover because it was nasty. And uh, clean the engine bay up a little bit. Should clean the hood. It's dirty too. But yeah. I'm gonna get into this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil, I won't video that, like I said, I'm just gonna, when I get to the wheels and stuff, and paint the brake calipers, I'll uh, do some on that. You know how I said, uh, don't trust uh, that the oil was changed on them. If you look at that, that's pretty, pretty dark oil, I think. I don't know if it had 75% life left on it, or 72, or whatever it was, but uh, whatever, it can change now. Now, what I recommend doing, you gotta clean the brake caliper really good. I got a toothbrush and some brake cleaner. And I'm gonna go over them real good. I'm gonna you take the caliper off and mask everything off around it. I would even drape some plastic over the paint of the car so you don't get any on there. But um, yeah, just uh, take the time, make sure you clean everything up real good. Mask everything off real good so you don't get red paint in places you don't want red paint because it'll look bad on this. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so one thing I like to see is it had like brand new brake pads in it, which is nice. Um, you can separate the bracket so you can uh, paint that off the car, which is probably the best thing to do, but make sure you don't paint your uh, metal sliders here for your brake pads. Make sure you don't paint uh, your slaughters for your calipers. You can actually take this out if you want to. I'm just going to mask them all. Um, the back of the brake caliper is not really important to paint, so you don't have to be real thorough with uh, cleaning it back there. But the front is what you see, and the front of this is what you see, this bracket. So we're going to make sure we get this, the front side, really clean on this, and the front side really clean on this. We I'll scrub back there a little bit, but it's nothing real vital. But um, don't disconnect the brake whenever you do this. That's way more work than you need to do. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get to cleaning this and um, get a little bit of paint on it. What I recommend using is a toothbrush, so you can you know scrub them a little bit and some brake cleaner. And that's what I'm gonna do right now.
some slacking. I already put a coat of paint on. I'm gonna try to uh, move it and uh, set it down after it, that layer dries and try to get a second coat on there from a different angle. Um, I still didn't do the bracket. Where did I put the bracket? Here. Still didn't do the bracket. I gotta clean it. So let's see. Oh, let's clean it out. I'm actually happy with that. Two coats, two more. First coat was a little lighter, second coat was thick. It dries really fast. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go back to the back one now. that first coat dry. I'm going to check the paint on these because they've been sitting for a little while. Still a little tacky. I'm going to clean my hands and uh, I'm going to let it dry a little bit longer. It's what you are. Now don't be a dumbass and do what I did. Um, I was letting the oil drain while I was doing this. I thought, well, I'll put the oil back in, start it up. So I put the oil in, started it up. Um, not even thinking about it. I pushed the brake pedal. I didn't push it very long or very hard until I realized what I was doing. And now that piston came out a little bit. So don't hit the brakes when you have them off. So now I gotta compress that back in. stick out too much right now but if we do the wheels like my wife wants to she wants them black and they're in really good shape so we're not gonna powder coat them just gonna apply some different for now but that red will really pop with black wheels so at least it will offset it a little bit and it won't be all blacked out so um piece of advice just make sure you take your time we got in a rush because Ashley wanted to go to the gym at a certain time so I didn't scrub the one with, with a toothbrush, I just sprayed it down with brake cleaner and wiped it off well. It didn't get all the residue off. And the first coat of paint I put on it started to fish eye a little bit. So I just told myself she's gonna have to wait. So I had to clean it all off and uh, use the toothbrush and the brake cleaner, scrubbed it, sprayed it several times and wiped it down. It stuck pretty good then after that. So um, yeah, just take your time, don't rush the job. Uh, it like says you don't have to worry about painting the back side of the brake caliper because you ain't going to see it, but make sure you get the front side real good and uh, you'll get some pretty good results. Then. Um, so that's going to conclude this video. 
Uh, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, put out content all the time. Thanks for watching. Peace.